All right, hey, Shalom Akiyam. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rikach, Kadash, the honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Simu Indians, West Indians, and Haitians, according to the Holy Scriptures of a God chosen people. Shalom to all you beloved brethren out there, push as knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters, and Shalom to Israelite foreigners who are scattered abroad. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one that can be called Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of one that one can be called God, one that can be called Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. When you call upon the Most High and His Son, you must say Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh means He to be, or He is. Bahashim means in the name, and Yahweh Shai means He delivers. The Lord and Savior come back to deliver the elect. Of the nation of Israel upon the destruction of the modern day Babylon, aka America. I want to say, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shai, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shai, and the Wadi Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai for another blessed day. The Wadi Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai for the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. The Wadi Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai for this opportunity. This 100% truth. And the Wadi Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai for all you beloved brethren out there pushing this knowledge and sincerity and truth. All right, coming back at you with another lesson through the Holy Spirit. So the body, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, for giving me this inspiration. So we're gonna um go, you know, go into some um some verses in Revelation chapter 17. And I'm gonna I'm gonna start at um because I got this video to back up what this prophecy is about to take place. Because as you can see, you see what's going on with France. <laughs> And how they losing their stronghold with these different um African nations, different countries in Africa. You understand what I'm saying? And um a lot of these nations is, is being backed by Gog and Magog, the Russians, and they have they have formulated uh, a new currency on the under the BRICS. Um under the BRICS, uh what would I would say, uh, um what's what's a good word? Uh, uh, uh alliance under under the BRICS alliance. What you're doing with Brazil, Russia india china and south africa have came together to, to to pretty much come up against the american dollar in, in, in the system you understand which is all according to prophecy but france is part of the ten horns um pretty much the beast system the, the eu european union and um the north atlantic treaty organi organization nato <clears throat> and according to the scriptures According to the Holy Scriptures, the, the, the whole the Bible, that these nations is going to turn their back. NATO, the EU, they're going to turn their back against the great whore, against AKA Babylon, the modern day America. Because pretty much they're going to go bankrupt, man. They're going to lose everything. Okay, so I'm going to read this. And hey, you remember that guy, Tucker Carlson, came, came to visit. The apostles and elders a couple years ago, he's breaking it down thoroughly. What's, what's getting ready to transpire with NATO, the European Union. So all the different nations outside of the, the Western Front which, with NATO, EU, and America, which is the, um, the whore that sits upon the scarlet colored beast, Canada, and but they're about to lose, you know, and, and it's going to be a great world war real soon. You know, and they, they're going to have to implement this mark of the beast system before that, you know, transpires. So this is Revelation chapter 17, verse 16. And the ten horns which thou sowest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. Okay, so this beast system is dealing with Esau power structure. Okay, dealing with the whore, which is America, the ten horns and NATO, European Union. These shall hate the whore. Why is that? And shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burnt her with fire. So these nations, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, eventually they're going to go, they're going to collapse. And everybody's going to be, all these different nations, all right, outside of America, they're going to turn their back against this great whore and they're going to help destroy this, 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 uh, this great whore, which is America. All right? Now, peep this. 
Resetting completely. The post-war order is collapsing. World is resetting completely. The post-war order is collapsing. NATO is going to collapse. Obviously, you can't have the main, the driver of NATO, which is the United States, sabotage Germany's main source of cheap energy in Nord Stream. The Biden administration blew up Nord Stream, and the Germans are so self-hating they won't say anything about it. They sort of put their head down, like, no, I don't want to talk about that. Okay. But I do want to talk about it because it's important. First of all, it was the biggest act of industrial sabotage in history. Second, it was the largest man-made CO2 emission in history, which if you're a global warming cultist is like the devil himself come to earth. And the Biden administration did that. But third and most important, it was an attack on Germany, which is the most powerful country in Europe. Western Europe is America's last main ally. And we just attacked our most important ally. The world is resetting completely. The post-war order is collapsing. NATO is going to collapse, obviously. You can't have the main, the driver of NATO, which is the United States, sabotage. You see that? The driver of NATO. That's, that's heavy, man. So when you go back, and you go up, it says the doom of Babylon. So Revelation 17 and 1. And there came one of the seven angels which have the seven vows and talk with me saying, I'm slack, it talk with me saying unto me, come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sit upon many waters. This, you know, metaphorically speaking, this whore represents Babylon, America, and the many waters dealing with the, uh, their, their dominance over these different nations, man, different countries through the beast aligned system. All right, NATO, European Union, and America. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth have been drunk with the wine of her fornication. This, this whole um, uh, uh, pretty much uh, Esau power structure got the whole world in, in a drunken state of living, not, not dealing with drinking alcohol, but the mind state of the people are totally backwards, man. Okay, pretty much sin, Satan, Satanism, sin, man, anything that's against Yahweh Shem Shai, the God of the Bible, is being pushed through this beast system. So therefore, the Most High is getting ready to throw it down. The prophecy must be fulfilled. So he carried me away into the spirit, into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon the scarlet color beast. This woman represents Babylon, America. And that beast, he just went into it. The driving force, man. Germany's main source of energy. You can't have the main, the driver of NATO, which is the United States. So he carried me away into the spirit. Carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness. And I saw a woman sit upon the scarlet color beast. The main driver of NATO is America. That beast represents NATO, the European Union, of black, of, of full of, full of names of blasphemy and having seven heads and ten horns. That's the whole beast structure, the European Union and NATO. Okay, and it says, and the woman was arrayed. You know what? I'm gonna pull up the uh, the picture for you to show you the seven heads and, and ten horns real quick. I gotta pause this. All right, all you got to do is Google uh, GMS, the seven heads and ten horns. And this, this picture will come up when you go to images. All right? So you're dealing with the, the seven heads, dealing with the Greeks, the British, Germania Minor, the Spanish, the French, the Romans, Germania Major. Okay? And the ten horns. So the seven heads of seven governments of our kingdoms ruled by Esau. And you go to the ten horns, which acronym is NATO. It goes in different countries right here. Right? You got Belgium, Denmark, France, Italy, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Greece, so on and so forth, man. You can look this up yourself just to back up what I'm telling you. Okay. All praise how about Shimei was shy. Right? That's what I link up with verse 3. All right? That's Esau power structure. And you can see in that picture 
that woman symbolic of America the hammer of the earth okay and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication and that golden cup goes back to what the Mosai set up this place to do what it's doing right now to push full of abomination and filthiness upon the earth lies and deception so you could bring everything to a halt and destroy this place and the next kingdom to be set up is Yahweh Shai's kingdom the Israelites all right and upon her forehead was name written mystery Babylon the great the mother of harlots the abominations of the earth okay so when you go into the whole currency system American dollar when you go to different countries throughout the world you know, is, is worth way more. And, he, and these different countries have been suffering for a very long time. So according to uh, Ezekiel 38, the most sides using the Russians to, to, uh, to, to form an alliance with these other countries to come up with their own currency to crash this dollar. <sighs> to crash this dollar, man. Okay, so we're going to go back down to uh, verse... All right, I'm going to start... At Start at verse uh, 15. And he said unto me, The waters which thou sowest, where the whores sit it, are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. All right? The whole power structure. And the ten horns which thou sowest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore and make her desolate and naked. That's the nuclear fire, the missiles. And shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. So that's the ultimate end of this place. The Most High is going to destroy this place with thermal nuclear destruction. Let me see if it's, um, yeah, yeah, Revelations 18. And I'm going to see what verse 7 says real quick. Let's start at verse 6. Revelations 18 and 6. Reward, reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works. In the cup which she had filled, filled to her double. So, man, this place is about to, about to go through some very catastrophic things, man. You know, and Lord willing, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah have mercy upon us. How much she had glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her, for she had say in her heart, I sit as a queen, I am no widow, and shall not shall see no sorrow. But the most I set up every kingdom for a appointed time. He also set up a bound that this man cannot pass. So this is the appointed time for this place to go down through the spirit of prophecy. Therefore shall her place come in one day. Meaning things are gonna start happening back to back to back. You know? Death and mourning and famine. Death and and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire. That thermal nuclear destruction. For strong is the Lord God who judge her. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. So now, man, I'm going to say this real quick. The apostles and elders have been breaking this down for quite some time. So now you got people online going over the same breakdowns. I'm just saying. So, yeah, man, the Lord is going to show who, who really... Who he's dealing with, and and and, and hey, when Yahweh Shai comes back, he says he's going to separate the sheep from the goats. So, the body held by Shimi Yahweh Shai and Kwam Yashua Allah.